Peter Chang here for Macho Cave. Today we're going to unbox the Core i7 2600K Intel microprocessor. And what's awesome about this microprocessor is that the K series is uh, the unlocked versions of the Sandy Bridge processors. And what's great about having an unlocked chipset is that it allows us to overclock. Um, in case you can't afford the 2600K version, the 2500K version is just as good. And uh, you could even overclock it even more. What's kind of cool is these processors also come with a stock heatsink and fan. So if you buy the regular version, like say you just buy like the 2500 or the regular 2600 version, you could just go ahead and use the stock heat sink and fan. Uh, they run great and it's kind of small in size. Here I'm going to just compare this to the Noctia fan that I'm installing and you see uh, just how big this Noctia one is. I'm going to move this a little closer here. So you just see this Noctia heat sink and fan. It's just so massive in scale compared to the stock heat sink and fan. So and in, in you you really do need a uh, larger heat sink and fan if you're just going to air cool it and, and uh, overclock your your rig. So once again, if you're not going to overclock, you can save a lot of money just by using the stock heat sink and fan. Nothing wrong with that. It runs pretty nice and silent. Here I'm going to unbox the 2600K processor. And we see it's just well packaged right there and it's just beautiful and I am just in awe that Intel could pack in millions of transistors in just one little silicon die there and this is gonna be a great build and you notice that there's like a little notch on the side and the notching just indicates that the processor is keyed so that it only fits in your processor slot in one way so you just have to be mindful of how you put it in. Generally motherboards come with a uh, plastic placeholder where your processor would go and usually it's kind of a pain to take out. You have to be kind of careful with uh, moving it out. Uh, you should notice that it, it, uh, it just takes a little patience but usually just snaps right out. And processor manufacturers drop that in to protect the uh, motherboard socket from dust and other particles and other uh, elements that they include in with the case. Let's just go ahead and zoom in so we get a better look at that processor socket and we see that uh, it's kind of unprotected and there's like recessed areas so just be mindful of that and just always remember that when you install your processor it only fits in one way it's keyed only one way and thanks a lot for watching our video and remember everything matters